Washington Middle School by going back over the history of Washington District 52 schools. This is William Holland Sr., who was Washington's first settler and was responsible for the founding of Washington's first school. Early schools were known as subscription schools. Washington's sesquicentennial book reports that the first school was built in 1827 and taught by George Shaw. The building was a one-room log structure at 118 Peoria Street. Mr. Shaw was not paid in money, but given his board, washing, and a horse feed for the year. He was also hired as a surveyor in the summer. This was a subscription school, and the teacher boarded around with each of his students' families. Washington had other subscription schools, and they continued to exist until tax-supported schools were formed. states that the first public school was the 118 Peoria site, while other accounts state that the first tax-supported schools were known as the East Side and the West Side schools. The West Side school was located at the Peoria Street address, while the East Side school was on Church Street opposite the southwest corner of the present Washington grade school playground. District 52 was created in the 1870s and the first high school was organized in 1873. In the middle of 1870s, a building was built to house grammar or elementary students in the high school. There was a five acre site donated by, donated by William Holland Sr. The two story building consisted of eight classrooms and had a full basement, which served as a space for the heating plant as well as living quarters for the custodian and his family. The first graduating class was in 1876. One of these graduates was Mary Italian, who is better known as Miss Mary to Washingtonians. After her graduation, she was employed to teach in the first primary, a position she held for 60 years. space for students continue to plaque the growth growing District 52 Board of Education in the early 1890s. They moved the first grade to the West Side School in, until it closed in 1953. This school would be known as the West Side Primary School. Also in the early 1890s, the custodian and his family moved out of the school building to make room for more classrooms as at the East Side Washington School. Additional 
space was created with the completion of the annex in 1912. This was used until its demolition in 1979. It consisted of two large and two small classrooms upstairs, a study hall, office, and a library on the main floor, plus a large basement. The basement area continues to be used today for storage in the heating plant. condemned the gym which had been built in 1906. The new building which continues to be used today serves as a gymnasium, auditorium, and provided more classroom space. In 1942, District 308 built a separate high school on Von Durant Street. Mrs. Carrie Vinson taught both the East and the West Side School. We interviewed her on January of 93 and asked her these questions. The school the same? Yeah. Well, of course, the little school's torn down. The other school is still there. Okay. Washington grade. I taught on the, the east side. Is that right? East side. Yeah, in the southeast room of the, of, of the school that's there now. That was my room all the time, 13 years. How many grades were in your school? At that time, when I taught, they had the eight grades in there, part of the time. I think they, Lincoln got some of them maybe a little later, but when I first went there, I think they were all eight grades in there. Could you talk about some of the things that happened? Oh. <clears throat> what happened? You mean that it was exciting or it was just happened? Both. I don't remember of any serious injuries there. In the, if, if we went back to the little school, I remember one. But he wasn't hurt too bad. Uh, but uh, I was afraid he was. You don't want me to hear that, do you? About the little school. Sure. Uh, a little boy fell into that brick wall there, and he was bleeding, and I got scared. <laughs> and the patrol man come along, and he took care of him. But he was scared. He was so scared. So uh, I was, and the little boy said, I took it up, knocked out, took I, Miss Foster. <laughs> <laughs> so I, we, I kept him at school because we couldn't get a hold of his parents. And uh, things like that upset you a little bit, but come out all right. Jimmy Carson, Carmen. Jim Carmen, Jim Carlson. <laughs> I'll get him after a while. <laughs> Okay. How long did you teach school? All together? Mm -hmm. When I started, I was didn't teach the whole year because there was a... Are, you just want to know about Washington, though, don't you? Mm -hmm. I wasn't teaching in Washington when I started. You just want to know about the history in Washington, don't you? Yeah. 
when I start, uh, I taught almost 30 years, uh, but uh, I taught in Wisconsin and in North Dakota before I came to Illinois. Is there any students that you had that would that we would be familiar with? I didn't understand that. Is there any students that you had that would be familiar with us? Anna Marie. You reckon you know Anna Marie? They don't. No. She does. Yeah, I do. She's just talking to her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, um, one of the policemen, Donald McCullough, I had him. And uh, you, you don't know him, I mean, but she, he's a policeman. And you see, I taught so long ago that you children wouldn't maybe know, but you might know Anna Marie, don't you? Mm. Are they from church? Uh uh. Huh? From school. No, they're not from church. I'm sorry. All right. So, I don't know what to tell you who you might know. Because you see, I probably didn't have anybody you knew because you're too young. Because I taught back in those years, you know, in, in 1944 to 66 in Washington. Grade School on Jackson Street was constructed in 1949 with additions in 1953, 1962, 1967, 1971, and 1979. It replaced the 1870 building, which was torn down at that time. Miss Meredith Seaton and Miss Kit Zinser. We interviewed these three teachers and asked them these questions. What grades were you here for? Is school now like it, it was then? What were the teachers like? Were there more boys than girls? Did you like school? Did you have student council parties? Did you have exploratory? If so, what are they? What classroom, what were the classrooms like? Did you have computers? Was there a library in the school? While we have the complete interviews as resource, we have edited and are using experts for this project. These primary source interviews gave us a feeling of what school was like a generation ago. has taught kindergarten, first, second grades in Washington for 27 years. 
She attended both the east side and the west side schools. Well, it's quite similar. Um, I think we spent a lot more time in the classroom back at that time than you boys and girls do now. We didn't leave the classroom to go to computer and we didn't leave it for films and to do one thing and another. We spent most of every day in the classroom. We did have a, a PE time and we went to the gym. However, the classroom teacher was the gym teacher. And the only special teacher that we had was a music teacher. What were the teachers like? Oh, they were much the same as, uh, as your teachers are. Um, we had many more unmarried teachers. Fact is, we only had several, I think, that were married throughout my whole years in, in elementary school. Were there more boys than girls? You know, I don't really remember. I assume the ratio was approximately the same as it is now. Did you like school? I loved to read. I loved anything to do with reading, social studies and reading and all that sort of thing. I was never a big fan of math. I was never very good at it, so I always kind of felt a little inadequate in math. <laughs> Did you have student council parties? No, we didn't have student council in elementary school. We did in high school, of course. Okay, did you have exploratory classes? Well, you know, I thought a lot about this, and I, I do remember that the boys had what they called industrial arts. They would do little things with woodworking and that sort of thing. I assume the girls had something kind of similar to home ec, but I cannot remember a single thing I ever did in home ec. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... What were the classrooms like? Well, now we get into a vast difference. Um, I attended elementary school in the location of where the middle school now is, but of course it wasn't the same building. The building that I attended was a tall two-story square brick building, and you went up a long flight of stone steps. And then when you entered the doorway, directly in front of you was another long flight of wooden steps. And the teacher always stood at the top with her whistle, and the stairs would squeak and squeak as you went up. And when you got to the top, it was a landing, and at the top of the landing there were four uh, classrooms, two firsts and two seconds. And then beyond those was another narrow flight, long wooden flight of stairs. And then at the top, I think there were another four classrooms, and then it was the principal's office. And we were always scared to death of the principal. I don't know if you still feel that way, but we were definitely afraid of the principal at that time. And he never did a thing that I know of to any of us, except discipline was more um, aggressive, shall we say, because uh, children got paddled at that time if they misbehaved with a long paddle. And, um, and I do remember stories of that. It personally didn't happen to me, but... I remember stories of, of children being paddled. Um, the classrooms were also different in the fact that they all had wooden floors. And when you'd walk, they'd squeak across the floor, so you didn't really walk anywhere very quietly. And the ceilings were very, very high, like 18 to 20 feet. And we had these narrow windows that went way up to the ceiling. And so to lower the windows, you had this real long pole, and at the end was a hook. And you'd put the hook in a little notch in the top window, and you'd pull the window down, and then to push it up, you'd have to use the pole. So it was quite, quite different in that respect from, from the way our classrooms look nowadays. And every room, we had no lockers, of course, to hang our clothing in. We had this little um, cloakroom thing. It was like a long, narrow closet with rows of coat hooks on the walls and some shelves above it to set your other things and every room had a cloak room. So, but I think probably the most interesting thing that I did was attend a little one room school. It was on Peoria Street and it was just west of where the Lindy's Grocery Store is nowadays. Actually there is a Maley's Law Office and uh, State Farm Insurance and Dr. Crick have a office building there now. And it was just a square, wooden, one-room school. And in the back was an, an additional building, which we used as a little gym on rainy days and things. But this little one-room school kind of looks like the one at Wildlife Prairie Park, if you've ever been to see that one. 
because you went in the back door and there was the cloakroom as I described and on the other side of the cloakroom was the main um, classroom area and the desks were all screwed down to the floor and on the front of your desk was the seat of the desk that was ahead of you. So your desk was a desk and plus a seat for the person who sat in front of you. And every desk had a little round hole for an ink well. We never used ink, but we always had this little hole and we stuck our pencils in it. And um, uh, the teacher's desk at the front of the room was kind of raised up on a platform. And now that I think back, this sounds like the dark ages. Because back in the corner of that little school room was a little coal burning stove. And that's what heated that little school, was that little coal burning stove. So it definitely has been a day or two ago. <laughs> this is the first in a series of interviews with District 52 teachers who attended Washington Middle School several years ago. Mrs. Seaton is with us today. Currently, she teaches in the reading lab, but also taught kindergarten in District 52 for 19 years. How long were you here? I was in uh, District 52 from first grade through eighth grade. For eight years, we had no kindergarten in the uh, district at that time. Okay. Is school now like it was then? In some ways, it is like it was then. We have the same type of subject matter that you are studying now. Uh, we had sports and we had some music. Um, it's a little different from what we had a long time ago in the fact that at that time we had no girls sports. Uh, we just had um, girls PE and at that time in basketball it was funny because the girls didn't play basketball the same way they do now. We had three of each team on each side of the center line, and we could run up to the center line and throw the ball across the center line to one of our teammates on the other side who could run and shoot the basket. So it was very different. Um, we also um, had in our music, uh, extracurricular music, we put on some operettas in which uh, they were, it was like musical plays and uh, with the, the stage and the, and the costumes and things like that. So we did uh, some of that too. Okay. What were the teachers like? The teachers are, were very much like they are now. We had some really good ones and some that weren't so good. There were some teachers that you really were excited about having and you really hoped you could be in their class teachers that would hope, oh, I hope I don't get that teacher's class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we had some really good ones, and then we had some we didn't really want to be with. <clears throat> were, were there more boys than girls? I'm not sure about that. It must have been about balanced, because I don't remember that there was a, an odd number of overwhelmingly boys or girls. So it must have been about the same. Did you like school? Yeah, I, I liked school. Um, it was something to do. I don't think I got up in the morning and said, yay, it's time to go to school. But I really enjoyed going to school and seeing my friends and uh, seeing what everybody else was going to wear and uh, what we were going to be doing. What didn't you like about school? Um, there were, I guess I, I didn't like the, the times when we had to study really, really hard for tests. And I didn't like school when I had some, there were two teachers that I had that were really strict. And they didn't like me very much, well, so I didn't like school this years. <laughs> Did you have student council? No, uh, we didn't have a student council. We, in our junior high, we published a newspaper, so some of us worked on the newspaper, but we didn't have any student council. Yeah, um, did you have parties? Yes, we had parties. We had parties um, all the way through the uh, elementary grades that we had in the classrooms. And then when we were in junior high, we had uh, evening parties where we could dance and had fun like that. Mm -hmm. Did you have exploratory classes? No, we didn't have exploratory. We didn't, even, we didn't have study halls. We just had plain old subject matter classes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. What were the classrooms like? The classrooms were very much like what you've got now. Um, what made them different was the way each teacher or each class um, lived in it and what they put on the walls or um, the rows. We always sat and put our chairs in rows. We never had our chairs in any other way. Um, so those, the, the layout of the room was very, uh, very different from what you're used to now. Did you have computers? No, we didn't have computers. Um, was there a library in the school? We had no library in the school. Each class had its own library, and it was pretty well um, developed as far as uh, plenty of choices for books for each class. Um, did you have any siblings go to your school? Yes, I had a younger brother who came to the school two years after I was there. Are any of your teachers still living? Yes, uh, there are, and I think there may be more living than I know about. But here in Washington, there is uh, Mrs. Herbst, and she was my fourth grade teacher. And two of my junior high teachers are still living. One is Miss Thomas, and the last time I saw her, she was volunteering over at Proctor Hospital. And then there was um, Mrs. Alvin Montgomery. What grades were you here for? I was here first, second. I left third and came back last half of fourth grade, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. Is school now like it is then? No, you guys have so much more. Um, we went to school in a, we started out and there was a building over in this side this side and it was a big tall building and years and years and years ago it was an old old building old brick building and it was used for the high school and then they built the high school out on the west edge of town so they used this for the grade school and the part the south part of the school that you have now wasn't here it was built in 52 and 53 so we were all pretty well crowded into one I think there were three stories and um, off the gym, what the band uses as a storeroom were classrooms. And I had first grade in there, Miss Travis. She was old and single. What were the teachers like? Old, old, old. They seemed old to me. There were a lot of, you're not going to show this to any of the old teachers over there. <laughs> Okay, well a lot of the teachers didn't marry because years and years ago they weren't supposed to marry. They weren't allowed to marry, they weren't allowed to have families, they weren't allowed to teach. So a lot of them were carrying over now than we had married teachers and teachers with families and so on and so forth, but it seemed like most of them were really old. Were there more boys than girls? Yes, it seemed that way to me because we when, when spring rolled around and we had our choice of going outside and what games we got to play, it was always baseball. To this day, I hate baseball. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, because I was a chubby little kid with short little legs and I couldn't get around those bases as fast as the boys could. And the boys kind of made fun of the girls because they couldn't run, couldn't hit quite as well. And they were, I'm sorry. They were always trading baseball cards in the classroom. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> did you like school? I really did. I enjoyed school. Um, I think I was lucky that I had a lot of teachers that I enjoyed. I had a lot of teachers that liked to read. I had a lot of teachers that um, were really interested in, and, and I think we do now have a lot of teachers that enjoy reading and enjoy doing things. but. Um, Something that the teachers did every day, and I, I know I see it in the classrooms now, they read to the students. And even until I was in eighth grade, they read to us, which was wonderful. They read the classics to us, and it was great. So I, I enjoyed that part of it. I enjoy reading for fun, too. Okay. Um, did you have student council parties? No, uh, we didn't have student council. We didn't have, um, we had parties, but we didn't have student council parties until or student council until high school. In grade school, we had um, dances, and it seemed like we had them, you know, pretty often. Um, 
It was the seventh and eighth grade. I don't think we had some in sixth. We used to have sock hops. Yeah, sock hops. Sock hops in the gym over here. And we had talent shows, which were really fun. But the sock hops we had, everybody, all the girls got together and they had to wear socks and sweaters that matched in color. And our skirts were usually pleated skirts that came down to our calves. And the socks came up. There's not this much of a show. And um, I can remember being kind of embarrassed because some of the guys didn't wear socks that matched their shirts or their pants. And some of them had them. Anyway, um, that was a big deal, these sock hops. And we didn't have a DJ and we didn't have a stereo. We had a phonograph. Tiny little speakers. And we had a slumber party here. The seventh and eighth grade girls had a slumber party. And we slept in the bleachers. We were supposed to sleep on the floor, but we slept in the bleachers. And what a big deal it was to go to the cafeteria and put our Coke in the milk machine. And milk machine was a huge thing. Um, maybe they still have it. Yeah, they do. It's a big deal. A lot of fun. I think you guys ought to ask if you can have a slumber party. Lot of fun. Bell is located outside Washington Middle School. Originally, it was located on the annex. In 1978, it was determined that a reorganization of grade levels and buildings was needed to better provide a good education for the students of District 52. A bond referendum was passed and construction of the learning center and the band room was done to accommodate the move of the junior high to Lincoln Grade School. The 1912 annex at Washington Grade was torn down. was built as a part of the remodeling. In 1979, the annex was torn down. The basement area remains in use today. Three pictures show Lincoln Grade School after the 1978 and the through the 1980s reorganization. South Spruce Street became Washington Middle School, housing grades 6, 7th, and 8th. This is appropriate since a middle school serves as a bridge between elementary and high school. As the educational needs of the children of Washington changed over the years, District 52 created and will continue to create schools to meet each student's educational needs. We'd like to take you on a tour of Washington Middle School and share some of our thoughts about what it's like to be a middle school student in 1993. Students today are probably the same in many ways as the students of the past and the students of the future. We like to come to school to see our friends as well as learn and prepare for high school and beyond. Our school has many portraits on the walls ranging from pictures of Washington and Lincoln to the composites of 8th grade graduates of District 52. A new music room was added to Washington Middle School. It was finished in April 1993. Band and chorus meet in this room.
this feel like this a lot. Nice job, Andrea. Workers have been renovating the science labs upstairs. We have become used to drilling noises and strange pieces of equipment moving down our halls. As we look towards the future, the Learning Center will be undergoing changes for 93 and 94. The middle school will have a radio station for local broadcasting and a technology center for producing projects like this one. In the future, more computers will be available to the middle school students for use in all subject areas. Washington Middle School will meet the educational needs of generations to come.